Guys, welcome back. It's JD Sensei. This is Seven Days to Die, and we are getting ready for the nighttime prep work. So, what did I promise to tell you? I promised to tell you how my daily routine came about. One, um, when I switched to two hour days, believe me, I learned real quick uh, the nights were 30 minutes long. And I also learned real quick I was not going to sit around and do freaking nothing for 30 minutes. Uh, even I need to do something else. Guys, I gotta duck down for a second. Son of a bitch. I was going the wrong way. <laughs> uh, there's a lake right over there. That's kind of why I like to settle out here. Because um, I can go get water at the end of the night. I'm picking up... Yeah, I didn't mean to pick up the cotton. But I'm picking up the goldenrod because we're going to make... Um, we're going to make goldenrod tea. Uh, reason being, and... It costs. It does the exact same goodies that uh, regular water does. Difference being, um, you get wellness for it. You know, so why the hell not? Yeah, it causes a little. So uh, as you live in an area, as you uh, turn on your forges, stuff like that, um, zombies will be more and more and more drawn to it because it does high, high. It does something called a heat map. Now, they are not being drawn to me right now. The problem is, you can see that house over there. Uh, they tend to spawn around those. They tend to spawn around anything like that. Um, but they will get a heat map. And what they'll do is more and more will come to see what you're doing. As you get past the seven-day horde... Screamers will start to show up, and they'll summon hordes. Um, I finally ran into my first horde itself, roaming horde. It uh, wasn't very big, but I was just like, I was messing some, with some zombies in Deersville. And I freaking turn around, and there's like five more zombies behind me. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I took care of that. I gotta watch out, because they love scaring the crap out of me by the water. Occasionally to be a zombie down here. Yeah, let's get the Wawa. Let's get a little, oop, a little more. All right, so that is just wrong. That remember when we first started this playthrough? That thing will be there forever, and I, I'm not sh quite sure I'll ever be able to get it. Um, I probably can. Uh, I don't trust this game. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of dickatry that goes on. <laughs> uh, uh, we like coal. Once again, guys, uh, you gotta listen for bears. They do not show up as enemies on the screen. I mean, you won't see yourself sensed or hunted. All you'll hear is roar. And that means the bear has seen you and you need to get the hell out of Dodge. Because he don't give a crap. And they'll take off half his health in like three hits. Uh, later on, there's things called zombie bears. They are worse. Alright, so... Let's uh, take care of some of the dead stuff real quick on the way back. Oh, look, we see more. I do like it here. There's another farm, one with corn. Uh, some people like living there. I don't. A um, couple of reasons. One, when you're in the area, you'll notice sometimes uh, I'll be going by, I'll loot trash bags, and then I'll destroy the trash bags. While you're in the area, they're not going to respawn. They, they'll never reload. When you leave the chunk, it's like a 16 by 16 block. If you're out of it for long enough, uh, when your loop cycle comes around, yeah, they'll respawn. So if you live up on the farm... Ah, 500, this is no good. If you live up on the farm, guys, what's happening is uh, that food, did you, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, but if you manage to run out of it, you're, um, it's not going to grow back. But if you live down here... Sorry, let me uh, get a little uh, stamina back. So if you live down here, though, and you, uh, that's what we want, a thousand tree. Uh, if you live down here, though, and the, uh, you, know, you farm, go to the, go up there and get corn whenever you need it to make meat stew or something, that's fine. But on the 30-day cycle, uh, like, your plants will regrow. Are you serious? I'm hot. Whatever. I don't care. I'll be cold in three minutes. Yeah, whatever, dude. Get heat stroke. See if I care. 
It's the freaking mining helmet. That actually causes heat. I'm 20% wet, narrowing down. Oh, God, I hate low, being low level. It takes forever to cut down a tree. Uh, this is why I kept the wrench, though. 10, 12, and boom. Okay. That's where you're going. All right. Uh, it was still getting a little dark, so... Let me pick some more goldenrod, since it's right here. There we go, there we go, there we go. Any more? Yeah, there's a little bit right there. Give me that. Give me this. Give me this. Maybe in the morning I'll come over here and take care of that damn uh, house. There's nobody in it, but there's a bear that likes to spawn around here. So I prefer not to run into his lame ass. Which just reminds me I shouldn't really be dicking around over here. I just realized that this is really a bad idea. Alright, I'm just going to get her over the fence. Uh, reason being, if the zombies come, they'll at least get stuck on the fence. So, if I was being followed, yeah, it's a good place to go. Turn on this. I'm pretty sure I already checked this joint out. I may have, I may not have. Let me double check. Let me go. Did we look? We did. How did I miss that? Not sure. Not sure. Uh, this is why I pick up hay bales so I can just go like whoop. Don't get hurt. Haha. -ha. I broke my club. Me in the grass broke my club. I always try to duck down in an open space when I'm going to make an axe. They don't take very long to make, but I don't want to take no chances. It is 1933, so let's take down this rock. What do you say? So, once you play long enough, guys, you'll get the, um, once you get the forge up and running, you'll be able to make, uh, you know, uh, iron. And at one point, you'll be able to make steel. Oh, my goodness. Steel tools. Uh, I don't know if you guys have come across a gun safe or something. It takes like a month and a year to break one of those open. Still pickaxe. Whew. Does this rock? Nine hits. Nine hits. That's it. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Um, let's see if we have any more wood. Actually, it is coming up on... It's coming up on uh, almost 8 o'clock in game time. So we're going to just get this free wood. So we need to get ready to go inside. And just go in like that. And because we... Oh, for God's sakes. Would you put that... Don't give me that murky damn water. We're going to cook all that tonight. So let's do this. Let's put these up. And remember I told you to keep the wrench. Don't let it die. Boom. There we go. All right. So first things first. It is nighttime. Let's go drop off a little bit of this stuff. And let's turn on our campfire. So while we're downstairs working, we can start prepping this joint. Um, what I like to do is secure the bottom floor. Um... You have 24 minutes of cook time, so let's do this. Hit, hit that, go to recipes, go to boiled water, and do them all. Okay, so in five minutes I gotta be back. Uh, I don't like to waste coal. Uh, we're gonna leave that busted out. Oh. Uh, and we're gonna head right back downstairs. And we're going to start getting rid of all this crap. And once again, guys, I do apologize, because uh, when I first started this, I was like, oh, yeah, 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 we'll just keep these. Yeah, screw that, man. I've done, uh, I've done seven days hordes, and it, you go right for the freaking windows. And the windows are easy to knock out. Um, plus, you'll level up a crap ton. Uh, so what I like to do is this. There we go. Sure the whole damn thing up. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. And then we throw these down. One, two. Oh, 
three and four. And what did I say, guys? There was never anything here. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Look at that. Did we check this? I knew it. I, I don't know how I knew it, but I knew it. Guys, I might be able to make a shotgun. <laughs> I just noticed that. I have 810 wood. Okay. okay. I And I know, guys, it might look like, oh, there's metal there. Yeah, trust me. Um, they can, that's a hundred points, man. Some zombies can tear through that in two hits. Before we get to the seven day horde, you want at least two rows of spikes. You want some little spikes around, you know, you want to, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'll probably tear down the porch too. Um, I've, I've left it up. I've torn it down doesn't really do much. I mean, for one thing, it's going to be a place where they can uh, crawl around where I can't get to them, so I'll probably get rid of it. There we go. Start shoring this joint up. And do this. Do this. Do that. And let's put in the new ones. Alright. And this. And this. And what you're going to want to do, guys, is just go around... Uh, I have 2,000 more wood on me, so what I'll do is I'll take, I'll probably take a thousand of that, uh, and make spikes, and the rest will be used to start shoring up. I'll do the bottom floor tonight while I wait. I'm probably not going to film that, guys, because I know how exciting that is to uh, watch, as in it's not. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll do one more episode first thing in the morning so you guys can see us get ready. And uh, you can see the progress I made on the house. And then uh, and I'll let you guys go for a couple of, uh, let the, you know, burn through this a little bit more. Play my own games. Uh, might do my live streams. You know, stuff like that. And we'll come back to this in a couple of weeks. So for you guys, it's just, you know, it's a continuous cycle. For me, like I said, I tend to... I do other games. Uh, you know, what is it? Uh, it's the 16th right now. So when I pick this up again, it'll be early August. When I record more episodes for this one again. Uh, and I don't plan to let it go. So I'm not going to freaking abandon it on you. So you don't have to worry about that. But... You know, I'll be uh, on most, most of my games. I'll probably be on like uh, <laughs> I'll be on the day twenty, uh, the day twenty one day horde or the twenty eight day horde. Did I remember that? Oh, that's fine. I don't give a crap about that. Guys, thank you so much for watching me. I'm JD Sensei. Like I said, I'm gonna go through the night. Uh, I'm gonna be fortifying the house. I'm gonna bring it up first thing in the morning. We'll play a little bit, and then I'll leave you guys off, and I'll save this game off, and I'll continue playing mine, and we'll come back to it. All right. Guys, thank you so much for watching me. I'm JD Sensei, and I'll catch you all in the next vid. Bye, guys.